All right, uh, I will now address one of, so, uh, some of my last claims for uh, that the increase in minimum wage will negatively shift unemployment rates and try to clear up anything else I had at the last part of this, or the next seven minutes. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, so, uh, I had I the, one of the other sub points was that low wage jobs will be left empty, and this was from the LA Times in April of 2016, uh, where they quoted that increasing minimum wages will drive low wage jobs underground, and this means things like restaurant workers, uh, construction workers, different low wage jobs. So they will not be working directly with contractors anymore. They would work like you would see the people standing on the street corner saying, "Hey, I'll help you build your house or work in your project for the day. I'll hire you for the day." Like you see people standing outside of like Home Depot and stuff. Um, and then the other one was. Uh, uh, jobs we lost to save costs, um, which is here. Uh, it's uh, from James Shirk. Uh, yes, uh, it's basically he, co he comments that uh, many California workers produce less than fifteen dollars an hour in value for the work time they work throughout the day or throughout the year, or whatever. Uh, and then it says the California legislators have effectively made it illegal for these Californians to work because employers. It is unprecedented for employers to hire employees at a loss directly. Unless they're a charitable organization, such as like the Homeboy uh, Grill or anything. Um, uh, and then it's also um, most companies affected by this is from James Strick again uh, from uh, Heritage Foundation. Uh, most companies affected by the new legislation will respond by eliminating positions and cutting employee hours. The legislature has made labor more expensive and consequently employers will use less of it. For example, the Holiday Inn in Los Angeles Gateway uh, laid off seven of its employees in response to the first phase of the Los Angeles wage hike, which was only a 50 cent increase and they already fired seven workers. Um, uh, and then applied to California, oh wait, oh, this, is, this is again from that guy, uh, Heritage Foundation doing one of the studies and it's uh, Yes, uh, it says based. Uh, it well, it says that uh, apply to California. The studies show that uh, the studies imply that the fifteen dollar mandate to have minimum wage will reduce employment of affected workers by approximately nineteen percent, uh, and that represents job losses on the order of nine hundred thousand fewer uh, jobs in California by twenty twenty three. And the wage mandate will eliminate roughly one in five California jobs that pay below fifteen dollars an hour at the current moment. So if you're getting paid less than fifteen dollars an hour, those are the jobs that are going to be disappearing, which means it'll only worsen the wage gap between the lowest, the poorest, and the richest in the state of California. It'll also make it harder for those people to afford goods because then they might not be able to find a job anymore. Um, oh, this is this is an example. Um, I know that's well. This this kind of works for this is um this is basically uh, Oakland uh, has already started increasing their wages higher because they were trying to get ready for it, and they increased up to. 25 an hour uh, as sort of a jump ahead. San Diego has jumped up to 12.50 an hour, um, and it, when they increased its municipal minimum wage to 12.25 an hour, many local restaurants had to increase their prices. Uh, some as much as 20% uh, was added to their prices, and this meant less consumers were going to the restaurants, and that meant there was consequently a lower number of employees that were needed to work at the restaurant because nobody was going out to eat anymore. And that means if there are lower employees, if there are less employees, those employees who have now been laid off are also not going to go out and eat, and it'll just keep happening to other restaurants in the local area. Um, uh, it's also it's it's the problem of its increasing minimum wage doesn't just increase their cost to pay workers. It because it, since it's increasing the cost of workers for every industry in California, it means the goods these companies are having to buy will also increase in cost. So they're, the food they're having to bring in to prep all the food, the different goods they're buying from, say, if it's a, a furniture manufacturer in California, and this person this place sells furniture, their their costs will go up not just in labor but also in their product uh, purchasing that they then resell. Um, and yes, ah, this was this is the this is part of the economic uh, the argument and part of the uh, unemployment argument. It's um from Susan Adams uh, from Forbes magazine on April uh, in April of 2016, and there was a new paper uh, co-authored by UC Berkeley economist Michael Wright, which is actually one of the other papers I was citing earlier. Um, and it concluded that $15 minimum wage results in a in a modest job loss at initial. Uh, uh, at initial values, but then it would also create an economic slowdown for the city of Los Angeles, effectively worsening the problem that it is creating itself. Um, uh, yes, oh, and this is from, uh, where is, yes, this is a, a quote from Jim Phillips from a article from the San Diego Tribune, which is another state which has already raised their minimum wage. Uh, to 1250, and they stick, he commented saying that uh, yes, we have raised many prices. Yes, we're going to raise them again," said Jim Phillips, uh, general manager of Studio Diner in Kearney Mesa. 
uh, and he has cut, uh, who has nonetheless cut staffing from 71 to 65 employees and needs to shed seven more. So he's already had to lay people off due to only a 50% increase and then the upcoming increase to another 50 cents so we go up to $11 an hour uh, in California. And they're actually even higher because they're, they're actually already 12 dollars yeah, That's incorrect on my part, sorry. Um, Oh, yes, and this is San Francisco, who has also increased their minimum wage already, um, which states San Francisco's Office of Economic Analysis found that a $50 minimum wage, benefit, uh, it would benefit uh, their local economy specifically um, by slightly increasing uh, the spending power of the lower wage community, but it would also, it acknowledged that it could result in 15,000 fewer jobs in 2019, so it may help people, but will also lay off most of those people. So in the end, it's not really helping the economic situation in San Francisco or in California in general. Um, and the other problem was, this is part of the education thing too, is, um, and the economic problem, it did not, uh, the legislature did not establish a lower minimum wage for youth, uh, such as Australia, where they said it is a fourth of the average minimum wage to help uh, youth be able to get hired for jobs. Uh, they did not, we, since we did not establish this, uh, it, our, the mandate covers everyone irrespective of age, and it, this will make it particularly difficult for younger workers to find entry level jobs because if you have no experience, a company's not going to pay you $15 an hour when they can hire someone who's already finished college or finished their other, had other prior experience at a minimum wage job. Uh, so it makes it harder for younger people to get jobs. Uh, and then, oh, this was in, another, this is also part of San Diego. It was um, amid an abrupt slowdown in, uh, this is from Dan McSwain. Uh, San Diego Tribune, and it said amid an abrupt slowdown in growth, nearly 4,000 food service jobs may have been cut or not created through San Diego County from the beginning of 2016 through February of this year, according to an analysis, analysis of federal payroll data by Lynn Reeser, chief economist of the Fairmanian Business and Economic Institute at Point Loma and Nazarene University. 